Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tabby. It has been a long time since I've been here. It's been four weeks and yeah, I just was not in the right headspace to be filming. I'm feeling a little bit better today. Got my hair braided and everything, but I came here because first off, I miss you guys. Second, I wanted to talk about, I'm doing a little bit of cleansing, a little bit focusing on the less is more. So today I want to focus on talking about my Keep All 45 on why you probably shouldn't buy it. And if you're considering buying it, just watch this video and uh, watch to see why I think that you're probably better off just getting like a backpack or some kind of luggage rather than a Keep All or duffel bag. And I have nothing against this beautiful vintage Keep All. And I'll show you guys a little bit more in a little bit. It's just I have a lot of reasons as to why you shouldn't get it and get something else. I love it, but not for me anymore. So I've kind of, uh, before I get into that, if you want to get straight into the keep all, I'll put a little timestamp right here. But before I get into that, I wanted to update you guys on how we're doing. Um, if some of you guys follow my family and uh, me, but basically for the past four weeks, we've been quarantined, I, I believe like everyone else. And just like anyone else, we have been, um, you know, having our ups and downs, kind of like thinking the positive things and negative, like getting scared, not being scared, like I can do this, you know, like the whole like shebang of like emotions. And uh, for the most part, I think we're pretty much at a place after a month of quarantine that we're just making the best out of the whole situation. I mean, you know, pretty much just having faith and praying and uh, praying for everybody, praying for ourselves. And, you know, we don't know how long this will last. It's a lot of people don't like the unknown. I don't like the unknown, but in all, if you put it all into perspective, I'm just really glad that I have my family here with us. We are safe, we are well, and yeah, let's just get through this. So yeah, I wasn't really in the right headspace to be filming for the past couple of weeks. I just felt very off because I do feel like I'm sensitive to, you know, everything that's been going on. And it wasn't that I was like laying there and doing nothing. I just didn't have the right mindset and feeling to be filming for you guys. So I am back today. I miss you guys a lot. Comment down below how you guys have been doing. Where are you living? Where are you at? And uh, what have you guys been doing to occupy yourself? So we've just been, um, you know, I've been homeschooling the three kids and um, really just going hiking, uh, focusing on nature around our, our property. Actually, let me show you. No, I'm not going to change the... Um, I'll show you later our view. But uh, yeah, so that's what we've been doing, trying to make the best out of everything. I am sending you guys all well thoughts. And yeah, I think that's about it. I will try to vlog more. I'm not sure, but I think that's probably what we'll do for the next quarantine, if I feel like it. But yeah, let's just jump right into the video on why I think you should probably not get the keeple. And uh, no, like, because I love Louis Vuitton, so, and I love the keep all, but this is why. All right, so let's get into the little bag. I have the keep all 45. I, in, and I don't actually have the original straps because it didn't come with it. I bought, I purchased this strap on its own, and I'm, I think it's okay how it looks, and I have this, like, little pin on it. And it has the uh, luggage tag and it is very very vintage so this is a very very vintage bag it I will I did a video on it last year telling you all the details as to why I bought it and where I bought it I bought it from a Japanese reputable eBay seller I purchased it for almost 400 I think it was like 379 or something with shipping and then I purchased it for like $25, the strap. And I've worn it, actually, believe it or not, in this past year, I have worn it mm, a good handful of times, maybe five plus times, because we've went to a few Airbnbs and we've traveled quite a bit and had some weekend getaways. And so um, I have a few pictures that I'll insert here. And I just, I personally love the way that vintage bags look and luggage. I love Louis Vuitton because of the vintage look. I love the vintage Louis Vuitton. I wouldn't say I'm a huge vintage fan, 
fan of all bags but especially Louis Vuitton especially luggage this is the patina is so dark and there's some cracks not much cracks but a little bit it's made in France it has like a little bit not like a musky smell but like a vintage smell and it's not horrible because if it was horrible and dinky and blah I will send it back or I do not like that but it does have like a vintage kind of smell like a closet smell it doesn't bother me because I'm pretty much a clean freak um, I have not actually cleaned the hardware I, I like the way that the hardware looks because uh, I like with bags for the Brasso or whatever this is to be like shiny but and I could clean it with Brasso or clean it up with leather cleaner but personally I just love the way that uh, luggage looks vintage and worn and I have not been worried about this bag I have put it underneath my I put it underneath the airport like seats I have put it on the floor um, I believe I've got like some drink stains on it like very very little but that's the intention I bought it for so there's many pros to it the vintage look the the history behind you know luxury and like this type of wear, you can really be careless with it. This is so old, yet it has worn so well. It can carry a lot, which leads me into the cons. So the first con I would say is this bag can carry a lot. And it gets very, very heavy fast. It's pretty obvious that this bag gets heavy fast and it gets... Uh, painful in your shoulders fast. So when I travel with JT, he's pretty much carrying it most of the time. And I love, love, I love pairing it with my, uh, my Boss 4 Louis Vuitton backpack. I just love pairing these two together. This is my Boss 4 backpack. So I'll carry this on my back. I have like my essentials in my pocket and I'll have, you know, like at least snacks or other things in here just whatever I need handy I'll put it in here and I'll carry this most of the time on my my back and then I'll also like carry this on my shoulder so I do have a picture of these two together oh my gosh this is so cute um so JT is pretty much carrying it the majority of the time the second con is when I'm with JT I don't mind carrying you know a Louis Vuitton huge bag because what do these usually cost like if people don't know vintage they're gonna think this is an expensive bag but I bought this for $400 and it's like I think 20 something years old and so I mean if you think about it Louis Vuitton world that's not that expensive but these will retail for what nearly two grand in new so people are gonna think okay flashy but with JT I don't mind like carrying that because like you know he's a big boy and I feel safe around him however I did travel with the kids a couple of times by myself or once or twice with this bag by myself and I felt like so targeted like I felt like I was you just get attention you know and I am personally don't want the attention at the airport because there's people from all over the world. The airport's not necessarily the safest place to travel on your own with three kids, a young, tiny little, not little girl, tiny little woman uh, with three kids. And Atlee was, you know, under three at the time. She was like three, no, she was like three-ish. So, and then at a 10 and an 11 year old. And I just didn't like that attention. So, like I said, the weight, the pain, and the attention. So personally, I think that the best route to go is if you want to travel, get something like this. Get a backpack. It doesn't even have to be a Louis Vuitton backpack. Get a backpack with tons of pockets and security. Uh, get a rolling luggage and uh, get something that you feel comfortable with because when you travel, you don't want to be uncomfortable. Sometimes you're running after that airplane. Sometimes you're running like for that bus or whatnot and you don't want to be running with like this this um pain or like heaviness on you and even crossbody is heavy too so it's cool because you know it's easy access and everything um i will show you really quickly <laughs> and the zipper is really really nice so i am contemplating selling it my brother-in-law did move in with us last week and um he wants to buy it so if he buys it i will say sold 
in the description. He said pretty much says he wants to buy it after this, after I do the video. But if he doesn't end up buying it and it's still available, I will sell it for what I bought it for. Um, I think I bought it for, also with shipping and everything, it'll be $400. And it will include the luggage tag and also the strap, which I paid separately from the keep ball. So just check the description box to see this is if this is still available. I currently have it stuffed with <laughs> tons of clothes. And there is just so much clothes. I'm gonna fast forward this so you can see how much clothes is in it, but let me fast forward so you don't have to watch me take all of it out, but you'll see how much clothes can fit in there. So, let's go. Okay, so at the end of it, random, I always carry, oh, I found a crystal, random. Oh, that's cool. How pretty is that? Ooh, pretty, clear quartz. Let's focus on the bag, clear quartz. And I always, always have a huge garbage bag inside my keep all because you never know when it's gonna pour. And like I said, it's a carefree bag, but not that carefree. So if it's pouring, I put this huge garbage bag over my keep all and we're safe. And then uh, lastly, have you guys ever heard of this? This is Moso Natural Air Purifying Bag. And I use this with all my vintage bags. Basically, you um, it naturally absorbs odors, bacteria, harmful pollutants, and excess moisture. And you can use it up to two years. And you just put in direct sunlight once a month for at least one hour. And then it takes out like moisture and like pretty much like stanking this out of your bag. And that is it guys that is what is inside this beautiful baby there like i said the brasso and it says made in france model folds can you see it can you see it and then um yeah and it's a big old hole a big old hole in here but it's in great condition for 20 something years old. So yeah, and the cool thing is that it's already it folded down to the, you know, the size that you can make it flat if you have to store it. I personally don't like that because the canvas can get wrinkles, but this is a great way to, you know, if some people wanna store it that way, I personally don't, I store it stuffed. But that is it guys. That is what fits inside my key ball, 45 vintage and I honestly personally would tell you you don't need a bag like this you don't need really because but you know what well, before I bought this bag I knew that these were gonna be the cons and I still bought it because I don't listen <laughs> and I just had to learn like by using it for a year and that's what I learned in this past year so Alright guys, I hope you guys are well. I hope you enjoyed this. If you found this helpful, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!